What else did I have to do today? Ah, yes, overdose in my apartment. I better get home. Look! It's old sitcom stars. They're coming out of the cornfield. It's Jenna Elfman. Tony Danza. And, uh... Trailer Howard from Two Guys and a Girl. Yeah, yeah, you're not a star. You shouldn't be in a cornfield. But I was also in the later seasons of Monk. I see. Now your list of credits includes Castle. Paul. Oh. oh, yeah. Who's the big man now, eh? Madonna or Janet Jackson? Uh, where's Janet Jackson? Velvet Rope. Yeah, that one. Paul. Nina, what the hell are you doing with that thing? Sorry, in this town you can only buy alcohol if you're dressed head to toe in jeans. What? Who made that law? Our mayor, Jay Leno. Have you seen some of these laws they've got now about denim? You know, I say, if you don't like it, you may as well Levi's. Who's voting for these mayors? Rhode Island's a mess from top to bottom. I say, this is more uncomfortable than having James Brady at a cocktail party. All right, so I got my handgun, and I'm just randomly firing it into a crowd of people, and then... And then what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, oh, no, I'm anxious to hear the conclusion of your story. That's stupid. Stupid story. What's going on? Did I miss something? Ah, just some idiot streaking across the field. Ha uh, ha, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. Will you relax? We got an ironclad alibi. We were all seeing the Beatles live at the Ed Sullivan Show. <laughs> Sorry, I rode a bike here. Remember that time I was Robin Williams jumping off point? Okay, religion. Huh? Religion! You kill me, I kill you, we both go to heaven! <laughs> 72 virgins! Huh? You might have to help me out with the last 10 or so, because Mr. Happy gets tired! Religion! <sighs> uh, politics. Huh? Politics! Well, we're gonna come down there and take all your oil, but this is our oil! Yeehaw! Well, here's my missile! Okay, take it, take it! Politics! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take a five minute break. Huh? Five minute break? What are you, a construction worker? Hey, baby, I'm not gay. Does this yellow hat make my ass look fat? Five minute break! It turned out the joke already had quite a history. Bruce had heard it from Consuela. Consuela heard it from Mayor West. West heard it from Dr. Hartman. Hartman heard it from Angela. Angela from Opie. Opie from Herbert. Herbert heard it from Tom Tucker. Tucker heard it from Bender on Futurama, oddly enough, for some reason. Bender heard it from Al Harrington. Harrington from REO Speedwagon. Heard it from a friend who... Heard it from a friend who... Heard it from another... REO Speedwagon saved us several stops, as they, too, had backtracked the joke to some extent. But when their trail had led to a bartender in Virginia, they had given up, much the way the world had given up on them. In fact, just to kick him a couple extra bucks, here's five seconds of time for me to fly. No, don't! All the money goes to my bitch ex-wife! Can you play our song? Okay, lead singer from Asia. Now, sure as the sun across the sky, this lie is over. And now, the Game Show Network presents, Are We Talking About Jake Gyllenhaal or Jared Leto? I am oily-haired with dinner plate eyes. I was in that one movie about the weirdo. I somehow look both deathly ill and ripped. I am a less successful version of Tobey Maguire. Anyone? No? You would totally believe any story about me being a dick. I'm changing the channel. I like both of them. Your plane set my lawn on fire! Yeah, that ought to cover it. Peter, I don't want your money! Well, fine then. Have a box of Jeremy Irons cereal. If you're looking for a prize at the bottom, there is none. Only more cardboard. You want to know how pathetic my life is? I've, I've seen that behind the music with Leif Garrett 18 times. Hey, uh, hey, Leif. Uh, it's been a while. Too long, man. I'm so sorry about everything, man. I I'm so... Ready for a bombshell? You saved my life that night. But... But I was driving. I... I was on a road to destruction, man. The accident may have crippled me, but I'm alive, aren't I? Can, can we turn off the cameras, dude? All right, fine. You ruined this. This is more frustrating than Charlton Heston's funeral. Hey. Um, excuse me. Is, is this his cold, dead hand? Uh, yes. <laughs> He, uh, he said I could take this. Awesome! I'm gonna be a famous music star like Muddy Waters! Muddy? Baby? 
Everything all right in there? Oh, I think I'm about to pass a kidney stone. Ah! Oh! Taking credit for something a smart Jewish person did. Oh, that's okay, Pete. No, no, no. People have been doing that for too damn long. It is the white devil that has propagated, exacerbated, instigated, instigated. Line. It instigated our hatred like a Buick. God, wait, what was I thinking when I agreed to this? It, this is so degrading. It's I, This is worse than the time I was at the Friars Club and Sunni's retainer fell out of my pants. Genetic modification is a real thing. It's going to change the world, just like James Taylor changed rock and roll. Hello, Martha's Vineyard. Are you ready to watch me play guitar on a stool? Yes, thank you. No, thank you. Now here's a song that's basically directions to Boston. Oh man, this is the happiest day of my life. Now I know how Barbara Streisand must have felt the day she married James Brolin. I love you. I love you too. Ah. Oh. I'm so glad I married a regular person and not a celebrity. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. Fine, jeez, I'll read 1984. You better, because this was more embarrassing than when we played Truth or Dare with present-day Madonna. Uh, Truth. Do I look younger than 90? Dear, yeah. just need a little help. Just like how Sylvester Stallone needs help getting ready in the morning. So what are we thinking this morning? Uh, you know, I'm like a big face, big fat face, with a goatee with a little tiny eyes. Okay. And what about for your body? Yeah, you know, veins, all kinds of veins everywhere, like little rivers everywhere. Because you're beautiful, Meg. Thanks to you. Come on, let me introduce you to the president. He's kind of like my boyfriend. Uh, hang on, he's still getting ready. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I am a machine. Every second I'm not having sex with a housekeeper. Robots are killing people in the future. Okay, I finished for the day. You lied to me. You do have a housekeeper. Let's go make a large-faced boy. We now return to Extreme Makeover, Bethany Frankel edition. Move! I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. Oh, Mary, you'll never leave us, will you? Yes, those are lovely, but it doesn't quite answer our question. Okay, Johnny Depp or Richard Grieco? Oh, that's gross. Well, let's not do this. Come on. If you're secure in your masculinity, you can answer a simple hypothetical. All right, all right. Johnny Depp, because he kind of looks like a chick, I guess. What about you, Peter? Oh, man. Uh... Uh, well, I don't know. Richard Grieco would probably appreciate you more. You know, not take you for granted. I mean, with Johnny Depp, it's like it's like he wouldn't really need you. You know, he'd, he'd probably sneak out after you fell asleep. Of course, with Johnny, you get the financial security. I, I'd go with Johnny. Now back to old people agree with Arnold Palmer. Tomato soup, grilled cheese, and a weak cup of tea is the best lunch in my book. He's right. I enjoy things I remember. That's how I won friends when I worked for E. Seabiscuit, Seabiscuit, would you mind talking to E? I'm not Seabiscuit, I'm Penelope Cruz. And you're just lovely. Would you like a carrot? Good girl. From Time Life Music comes a one-of-a-kind Rat Pack collection, their most bigoted songs. All your favorite once acceptable hits like Drunk Old Engine. The drunk old engine squatting in his teepee, fire water keeping him warm. Jewish nose. She's got a big, beautiful Jewish nose, and it's there two minutes early wherever she goes. Dean Martin singing Chinaman's Chants. And Mr. Chinaman say in his Chinaman way, a ding a ling a ching a chong a ching a chong chu. Pew, stinky Frenchman. Paris is lovely, and Nice sure is nice, and Marseille is charming with champagne on ice. But you stinky Frenchmen haven't a clue, you stinky Frenchmen, frog you. Hey there, Fruity. Hey there, Fruity, you can do my hair. Hey there, Fruity, don't touch me down there. Hey there, Fruity, you're dead, and I don't approve. 
many more. Oh, that's easy. I wish I could see what Kelly Ripper was like off the set. So it shall be. Great show today, Kelly. Thanks, Reg. You too. <laughs> Hey, Kelly, Gelman needs us on stage for a couple of reshoots. Be right there, Reage. I just have to put on my face. I like him. Really? He seems kind of lame. But I guess every girl has her own version of Prince Charming. I'm in love with Paul. I'm in love with John. You know what? I'm in love with Ringo. What? Um, I said, I don't, I don't know what I said. Sounded like you said you were in love with Ringo. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Pretty sure you said I'm in love with Ringo. Here I am. Are Paul and John out there? Nope, just Ringo. Lois, you're in an auto parts store stealing mufflers. This is worse than that Winona Ryder thing. Uh, are you saying I'm a klepto? Well, actually, I was talking about the age of innocence. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented, and you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newland. Most good. I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way, I mean, can we add like a topless scene or something? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We can? Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. And now back to Kids Say the Darndest Thing. It's okay, take your time. Then what happened? He, he said he would kill me if I ever said anything. Do you remember what he looked like? Yeah, he had a scar on his arm, and he had a big, stupid... Doo -doo head. A big stupid doo doo head. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the things these children come up with. If you make Belichick smile, I'll let the Patriots win again. Oh, okay, you're on. I don't know, Peter, that's going to be tough. Don't worry, I got a lot of practice making people smile. <laughs> okay, okay, shh, here he comes. Hiya, Mr. Belichick. Who the hell are you? What do you want? We are here to make you smile. And if there's one thing that always gets me to smile, it's a child's laughter. So I found this kid in the parking lot, and I'm going to make him laugh for you. Come on, laugh. Would you, Bubba? Would you, would you, would you, would you, would you? Don't touch my son's face. Get over here, little man. This flight is cleared for liftoff. Vroom. Lift off. We. Who's flying? We. You're flying. Again. Who's daddy's little jet? I love you, daddy. Oh, guys, I guess we failed. Sorry for wasting your time, coach. We gotta get to the hospital anyway. Our friend Joe here has to have his fluids changed every 72 hours or else he swells up and his eyes turn yellow. Huh. What was that? Oh my god, Joe, quick, tell him more about your sad life. Uh, every morning I wake up drenched in my own urine. My feet are just shoes sewn to the bottom of my pants. Last week, the handicap seat on the bus was taken, so they put me on the front like a bicycle. After I injured my legs, my doctor said I'd be walking again in two weeks. Huh. That's hysterical. Oh my All god, right! yes! Right! He smiled! We did it! But recent years have also seen many important historical events. 1985 brought us the gayest music video of all time. around the world are you ready for a brand new v that happened and we all let it happen well take it easy you're getting a bigger head than chris matthews the economy's in the news today and congress is considering a minimum wage increase live by satellite to talk about it senator harry reed in washington how about it senator reed is this the right move during the worst recession since the 1930s look if we're gonna get this economy back on track we have to get more money in the pockets but of republicans are saying this increase is going to in fact put more people out of work economy, and make it harder for american employers to compete rich, in the global the marketplace this collapse. wouldn't it chris, if, if well, I senator just, wouldn't chris, it, if i could senator would chris if i senator let me finish my forehead, my rules. Let's go to Los Angeles. Big actor played the father in that 70s show, Kurtwood Smith. How's it going, Kurtwood? Good. Thanks for having me. East of Eden? So you, you, you pretty much do whatever Oprah tells you to, huh? You know, this book's been around for 50 years. It's a classic. But you just got it last week, and there's a giant Oprah sticker on the front. Oh, oh, is that what that is? Uh, let me just peel that right off. So, uh, what are you gonna read after that one? Well, she hasn't told us yet. Damn! Hmm, that's the second most impressive trophy I've ever seen. And the Grammy for Album of the Year goes to... 
Justin Timberlake. Ha! It actually goes to Nelly. Nelly. This is the best idea I've had since I slayed that dragon. Sybil Shepherd? Yes. People, you are free. Ugh, if he dies, I'm going to have to start hanging out with the rock again. One's a baby, and the other's black, I think. At least part black. Or Hispanic. I think, you know, possibly there's some Filipino in there. Yeah, possibly some Filipino. I mean, if, he, if he's black, it's definitely diluted. I mean, one of his parents must be white. What the hell is Jessica Alba, for that matter? If I were 40 years younger, I would plow that till next July. Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There you go. Eat up, Stephen. You're the weakest. And if I wore another color, I think it would just throw people. You only have two white shirts? Well, I had a third one, but it got ruined at that wine tasting at Michael J. Fox's house. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Now, we were going to show you the actual scene, but it, it would just make us all sad. So, uh, I'm just going to tell you what happened. See, he has this disease, and it makes him shake a lot. And what with all the shaking, he spilled his wine all over my shirt, and my shirt uh, was ruined. So, that's what that was. Um, I mean, he was very nice about it. He said, he said send me the bill. Which, uh, I mean, I, I, that's not how he said it, uh, but, you know, we, we got there. Anyway, I sent him the bill, and he sent me this check, but uh, it, it's I, I don't I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to cash this. Um, I don't, you, you think Tracy Paulin would would be in charge of the checkbook? You know, because I mean, what else is she doing right now? I mean, I, I don't I don't think he's got the leverage to Rita Wilson her around town anymore. I mean, I, I that's I mean that's where it's gotten. So anyway, that's what happened to my shirt. I'm glad we took the high road on this one. What what's that? Oh wait, now they're telling me they do want to show it. I really like the finish on this charade. Son of a bitch, what is your problem? I've got to get out of this house or I'll be in worse shape than John Goodman. I've got your EKG here. How does it look? Well, it spells out pancakes. Oh, okay, so same as last time. I'm recommending you go on a strict diet immediately. Nope. Horses that make it look like I can walk, take me to Hollywood. I had him pump my stomach, too. Doc, what was in there? Well, it's a pretty extensive list. I'm gonna need Billy Joel to help me out. Lots of Legos, rubber bands, web shooting, Spider-Man, an old pet rock, an antique clock, a ton of red play -Doh. Colored pencils, lots of nickels, half a jar of plastic pickles, banjo strings, chicken wings, cause single by Stilo. I didn't poop those items. They were in my tummy, cause they all look yummy. He didn't poop those items. He tried to eat him, so you shouldn't feed him. Wow, that was great, Billy. Hey, does anyone call you Bill Joel or William Joel? Uh, no. Does anyone call you Petey Griffin? No, they don't, because I'm an adult, which is kind of what I was getting at. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay to be easily distracted. That's what saved Warren Beatty and Annette Benning's marriage. Annette, let's have sex. Or... You could watch Blue Bloods and have a pudding cup. Hmm? Mm. Go get them, Blue Bloods. Ladies and gentlemen, to support Pawtucket Pat, please welcome Kid Rock. Hello, Kohog! Whenever there's a town debate with racial overtones, I'm there on the wrong side! Yeah! Oh, crap, everybody run! It's Adult Rock! Kid? You want to tell me why I found your mother's best t-shirt cutting scissors outside in the rain? I don't know. <sighs> why can't you be more like your brother, the... I don't know, but I ordered him a beer and now it's just sitting there looking lonelier than Alan Rickman's answering machine. Hello. You've reached Alan Rickman at 555-0122. Please leave a message at the beep. Hello, Alan Rickman. It's Alan Rickman, reminding you to move the pork chops from the freezer to the refrigerator.
so they defrost properly. Do not disappoint me. Hello. You've reached Alan Rickman at 555-0122. Please leave a message at the beep. Alan, it's me again. Remember that turtle joke for the party. <laughs> we will never stop fighting for this booth. This booth is my home. I was born in this booth. I was married in this booth. My children were all conceived in this booth. Hell, I witnessed every significant historical event in my lifetime right here. I was in this booth when the Challenger exploded. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth on 9-11. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh, my God, no. And I know about choice. I chose to be in Ted, too. Nobody made me. I wasn't forced at gunpoint. I relied on my advisors, and they let me down. They'll fix the script, they said. Well, they were wrong. I thought I'd get to act with a talking teddy bear, but when I got there, it was just two ping-pong balls on a stick. Or maybe that was Amanda Seyfried. I don't know. Listen, I'll, I'll buy you whatever you want, all right? Hey, how about some Mr. Holland's Opus action figures, huh? What, why won't you learn music, son? <laughs> oh, that's right, you're deaf. Well, we'll spend more time together, but right now I have to go buy groceries. I'll take my sand crawler. Oh no, look out! Ah! Ah, no, no, no! You know, I, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't seen the film, I'm kind of improvising here, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Well, you, you did kind of suck me in there, but, uh, but... All right, Chris, here's the pasta stewie. What the hell are you doing? Well, the woman at table four was a jerk, so I'm giving her boogie bread. Huh. Well, good for you. Now take this to table... <gasps> Chris, look over there. Table nine. It's the corpse of River Phoenix. I love how dangerous and not good for me you are. That's what I'm looking for in a guy. God, look at him. Dead for 13 years and he still gets that kind of play. It's pretty extraordinary. He was a great talent. Ooh, should I get his autograph? No, he won't be able to hold a pen. He's dead. Now return to Tony Danza and Sylvester Stallone in... What? Hey. Hey. Hey, little. You can be successful writers like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Ha, huh, there, finished. Goodwill Hunting by Matt Damon. Hey, uh, you think we could put both our names on that? What? You've done nothing but eat briars and smoke pot for the last six months. Oh, that's ridiculous. Come on, I, I helped. Oh, yeah? Okay, uh, r write a line. Just... Just right now. Just pitch me a line right now. Okay. How about that? That wasn't a line. You just farted. Is there any more pot? Are you kidding, Brian? These men and their redneck lifestyle really speak to me. This is the greatest show I've seen in years. Not like the last time I was at a comedy club. I hear this guy's hilarious. He played Kramer, you know. Oh, this is going to be fun. I've been a worse wife than Lorena Bobbitt when she was married to the thing. Oh, my God. Where is it? Where'd she throw it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this what you're looking for? Sometimes people just need a little encouragement to succeed, like Jason Biggs got from his grandfather. Jason, I want you to promise me one thing. Always be forgettable. I will, Grandpa. Hey, that's just a regular unattractive guy who's not famous. We did it, Grandpa. You don't want to mess this up, like Skilo messed up his wishes. Uh, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a rabbit in the hat with a bat. Skilo? What? You need money! <sighs> All right, fine. Guess I'm not the first person to cave into family pressure, like Stephen Baldwin. Why aren't you a bloated alcoholic yet? I'm sorry, Ma! You ain't ever getting that invite to dinner with the Jillian Howells. Muddy was right. He never got invited to dinner with Jake Gyllenhaal or his sleepy-eyed sister, which is probably for the best. She looks like she chews with her mouth open. Looks like someone learned how to fight. Yeah, I got a whole karate kid thing. What's that? I'm only allowed to watch Kurt Cameron movies. Ah, you poor dude. Out. Are you serious? You cannot be serious. I had a hard time telling if people were serious.
I spilled spot remover on my dog, and now he's gone. Are you serious? Look, they even have the payphone Denise Huxtable would call from on a different world. Hi, Dad. College is great. I'm doing what I want to actresses and will get support from my wife, Camille. That stuff was more out in the open than I remember. He's angrier than Al Pacino's forehead liver spots. Comb your hair down instead of up. Give us some shade. We're dying up here. Yeah, what do you call that haircut? You're nearly 80 years old. You look like the kid from Jerry Maguire. What are you going for with all of these spots? I want to look like mashed potatoes with the skins on. And let's be honest. If I had stayed with the Griffins, I would have ended up like Rick Springfield today. I wish that I had Jesse's job. We now return to Brian Cranston sneezes. <laughs> Thank you. I even managed Earth, Wind, Fire, and Pollen for a little while, but I had to give it up. Do you remember? Achoo! When it was like September. Achoo! Oh, September is the worst month for pollen. All the most important Broadway people will be there. Playwrights, money men, even Stanley Kowalski. Hi, I'm Michael. Michael! Michael! Um, and this is my wife, Nancy. Nancy! Nancy! And this is our Uzbekistani friend, Boyk Yavroy Hi. I brought a gift. Put it to your ear. You can hear the ocean. I, it's broken or something. All I hear is... It's Billy Ocean. <laughs> Oh, God! I got loads more! I think you and I are gonna have a lot of fun together. Well, that doesn't sound good. All right, I'm gonna go out and look for him. I'll take my Don Don. Well, I can't go outside! It's cold out there! Tom, I'm standing here with Stephen Hawking, the first white man I've ever met who knows math better than me. Mr. Hawking, what does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up! All right, see ya, bitch! Oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part! Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader! So, James, we just want you to do... the voice. Yeah, like that old gypsy did to Britney Spears in that Stephen King book. Thicker. Great. This is a bigger waste of time than Ringo's songwriting. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. Oh, I say, this is an even bigger accomplishment than getting Mini Driver's head to fit on screen. Okay, back up. Further. Move back some more. What? Back up some more. I'm as far away as I can get. Okay, have her enter. Action. Damn it, cut! Oh my god, oh my god, what's happening to me? I'm like that Texas woman who gave us son brain damage by holding him underwater. I'm just like Barbara Bush. I haven't seen this much denial since John Travolta married Kelly Preston. John, do you take Kelly to be your wife? I totally do. I mean, yeah, yes, absolutely. And I I'm going to do stuff to her too, like uh, touch her? Yeah, touch her and uh, kiss her? and touch a penis. I mean, no, not that, not that. Hey, Stewie, three o'clock, time for the view. No, 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 not again! <laughs> yeah, let me out of here! I can't watch another second! Yeah, this is worse than being Kevin Federline's magic mirror. Magic Mirror, how can I look like a douchebag today? Well, Kevin, um, I would say, first of all, don't shave or shower. Okay, I won't. And, uh, you just got out of bed, right? Yeah. Uh, I would say just go ahead and wear that tank top all day. Um, okay. All right, so we cover the hygiene, no collared shirts, um... Oh, and don't forget to walk around with an undeserved sense of accomplishment. It is almost ready, kids. Wow, Lois, look at you. You're like Britney Spears. 
Except you're not a fat guy. Oh, yes, with this close to sign. Oh, Keanu Reeves, wow. <laughs> you know, I, I don't usually gush, so you'll have to forgive me, but uh, but when I was writing Coast Guard, oh, uh, that's what I do, I'm a writer. Anyway, when I was writing Coast Guard, I couldn't think of anyone other than, uh, uh, there's a woodpecker on your head. Yeah, he comes and goes. Oh, man, I better save my autograph picture of Dean Kane. You know, from before he got all desperate for attention. Hey, is that Dean Kane on that park bench? Oh, God. Ah, somebody's in the closet! You know you're a redneck when your gun rack has a gun rack on it. You suck! Boy, am I beat. Peter, what's with the tie? Oh, I bought a tie so I can loosen it when I'm beat. <sighs> oh, oh, my God, Dad! Peter, your breath, it's horrible. <laughs> is Whoopi Goldberg working out down there? Ryan, either you cooperate, or I blow my Adam Levine dog whistle. Hey, my voice isn't that high. It is. It is, though. Okay. I'm doing my very best. <laughs> Thanks. That was way too much heat on my neck. And now, international news from Al Jiro Jazeera. Car bombing in Syria, skilly boom ba ba dee, yeah. 37 people killed, ooh, the people are dead. Face it, you're a worse parent than Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'm concerned about Pax Maddox and Shiloh. They're having trouble adapting. They've been raised with 11 languages and really don't speak any. I hear you, doctor, so... You're saying we should give them all faux hawks? No, I think they need intensive therapy. Let me see if I understand you. Even shorter on the sides? Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I am doing my duty as a patriotic American. I'm sacrificing a goat to Toby Keith. Peter, Toby Keith doesn't want to be fed. Toby Keith wants to hunt. Hey, listen, don't tell me what Toby Keith wants. I think I'm perfectly capable... <laughs> Peter, this is so much fun. I feel like I have a secret lover nobody else knows about. Just like Carly Simon. Miss Simon, enough years have gone by since you wrote your classic hit, You're So Vain. Don't you think it's time to tell the world who that song was written about? No, that will always be a secret between me and him. Man, this sucks worse than Easter Sunday at Richard Gere's house. Okay, find the Easter egg. I know where it is. It's in your butt. No. Yeah, I know the story. It's in your butt. Mr. Griffin, if you just look on the ground for five seconds, I'm sure you'd find it. Nope, in your butt. Look, I'm tired of this stupid rumor. In your butt. Mr. Griffin. But Mr. But Griffin. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. Fine, weirdo. We now return to the Today Show with Matt Lauer sadly looking in the window. First up, Rachel Ray will be here to help us with a simple Christmas recipe. Can I come back now? Then Al will be in to get you ready with your Christmas travel weather. Are you guys still sore at me? We also share your best tweets about family visitors. I thought about what I did. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> What kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Late night TV is all terrible. Oh, we don't have to watch this. We could turn to channel 875 and watch Conan. Here, let me see what else is on. In honor of Sammy, on the bus ride over here, we all sat in the back. <laughs> Lucille Ball was back there with us, and I saw her smoking a Cuban. And then Desi zipped up his fly. <laughs> Whose wedding is this? It's hilarious. Peter, it's not a wedding. It's an infomercial for the Dean Martin celebrity roasts. Please. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. And I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face. Control, yeah, I'm all over the place. Look at all this traffic. 
Yeah, Brady Boulevard is tight this time of day. You know what? Cut over to Brady on Brady and then take the Brady Bridge. Is everything in this town named after Tom Brady? Oh no, there's the Rob Gronkowski Library. The only book is just a label ripped off a muscle milk bottle. And look, there's the Robert Kraft Marina, full of tugboats. I heard he had a stroke. But I've taken on bigger challenges, like playing a game of Paul Simon Says. Paul Simon says Art Garfunkel is a loser. Oh, come on, Paul. It's been 40 years. Let it go. Paul Simon says I wrote all the songs. We know that. No one is denying you credit. Paul Simon says 5'2 is the cutoff for being really short, not 5'3. You know what? I'm bored. I'm going to play Simon Cowell Says. Simon Cowell says men should wear low v-necks and have breasts. Thank you for One Direction. Your last little uh, back and forth there with Stewie, that whole queer thing, that, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> oh, God. This is more unbearable than having sex with Kelly Ripper. Oh, oh, yes, that was good. Was that good for you? Good night. I'm sleeping. Are you sleeping? I have four jobs. I have to go to sleep and get ready for my four jobs. Good night. Love you. Where are the kids? Love them. Dad, what are we doing here? Chris, I am going to teach you how to stand up to a bully. Because sometimes a man's got to be a fighter, like Mike Tyson. Hey, baby. You're looking mighty fine tonight. What'd you say to my girlfriend? Oh, is she your... Oh, I'm sorry. You will be. Ah, oh, yeah. Peanut butter cup Dorito sausage car panini. And let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. I'm just gonna use my spare glove compartment underwear as a napkin. I can't believe Randy Quaid gets to eat like this every day. Yeah, it's hard, jagged, and tastes like alcohol. Just like kissing Faye Dunaway. <laughs> Easy now. She says I call Steinfeld Steinfeld? Of course I do. That's his name. Jerry Steinfeld. Pardon me, to quote his famous bit. Peter, those questions are the easiest, most pandering things in the world. Oh, oh, Tim Hawks. Tim Hawks. Forrest Gump. I win. Ho? Oh? oh, I feel as pretty as Scarlett Johansson. Laura Linney. Whoops. I made it to Wimbledon and got to play in front of the queen, Freddie Mercury. I altered my 40 bounce routine just for him. It was an honor playing for Freddy on grass that day. He later died. The doctor said it was asphalt. Brian, you still watching TV? God, you've been sitting there since I left. I spent all morning watching a VH1 special on Gwen Stefani. I don't know what a hollaback girl is. All I know is I want her dead. Well, I guess he couldn't be any worse than Tim McCarver is at sports casting. In my view, as good as the Yankees were in the first half of this game, that's how as bad they've been now. Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a capful is pretty harmless. Mmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Let's go knock on the door of the next room and ask them which one of us is fat. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm not Bradley Hooper. It's Copa, not Hopa. You're thinking of Mr. Hooper from Sesame Street, and I'd sooner bang him. He was a business owner. He was a successful man. Now, if you ladies don't mind stepping out, I have to reprimand Danny McBride next. Mr. McBride, do you know why you're here? Yeah, maybe because I'm awesome, and you're a gay homosexual, and also the word jet ski a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know why you're here. Now your turn, and do it how I like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't wash the mouthpiece. Well, <laughs> that was my pleasure too, Peter. <laughs> I knew I'd get you. Just like Danny DeVito got Rhea Perlman. I don't know, Danny. Look, it's either me or nobody. Sold. Magic 8-Ball, is the Fox Network sustainable in this new streaming world? <laughs> no! No! <gasps> Ken, what's wrong? A black ball went to waste. Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. Oh, God, that's terrible. Oh, here's a pop-up book. Tommy Lee goes boating. Don't forget, I was in that elevator with Jay-Z. 
Oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room key. Excuse me, Mr. Cobain? Look, I know you're depressed. Made some bad choices with women. But there's another way. Hagen does. Lots of Hagen does. <laughs> yeah, let's see if it worked. Here we go. Ha! You're still alive, you fat. Ludacris, that's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludacris looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. He looks like a Chinese black. Like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. Ludicrous human peanut. Tyrese, Chinese black. Yeah, if we don't find that tape, we're screwed. Like anybody who goes scuba diving with Dave Navarro. Wow, she seems great. We're getting along better than Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. You, you want to smoke, smoke some crack? crack? Ah! Oh, I, I love, love you. you. Get the crack! I guess you're right. Look how Chris Brown turned on Drake. Bitch, stop pushing up on my hoes before I kick your punk ass! Oh, pardon? I didn't mean any offense, hip-hop colleague. Can an African-Canadian just rap about neat things and drink Sprite? I've screwed up worse than Disney did when they cast Michael J. Fox in that Zorro remake! Who was that masked man who saved us? I don't know, but he left his insignia. Wait a minute, you mean... we can't have sex? Uh, no! But... Peter, we're married! Tony Randall was married, Lois. Rock Hudson was married. Ronald Reagan was married. Mr. President, did you reach a missile pact? Well, you could say that. There was a missile. And something definitely got packed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, why don't you go bother Joe, huh? I can't. He's in Vegas for the weekend, seeing that handicapped Cher impersonator. Yeah, we all want to turn back time! This is the biggest city ovation I've ever seen! You'll forgive him, just like Kathleen Turner forgave her mirror. Sorry. Turns out you were right about me. Whoosh! I hate him! His mouth is always open like P. Diddy. Well, what do you mean? You ever notice how in every photo of P. Diddy his mouth is hanging open? Well, actually, Diddy hired a guy to close his mouth for him. I'm telling you, this kid is the next Justin Bieber. Young girls love him, but he makes real music that- Sorry I'm late. Traffic. Indeed, a force to be reckoned with. Like Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu. Secretary Chu, Ways and Means has sent over a preliminary budget. It looks like the Department of Energy is looking at a 4% budget cut. <laughs> okay, no budget cut. No budget cut. She's always making me feel small and insignificant, like John Goodman's heartbeat. Honey, my inside left boob stomach did that thing again. You mean your heart? Um, I don't know about any of that, but I think I should eat something. Fine, go ahead. But I'm telling you, it's going to be a bigger waste of time than writing tough guy dialogue for a Jet Li movie. This is your last warning. Give me back my wife. What? Excuse me? Give me back my wife or you're in a lot of trouble. I'll kick all your faces. You got me? You're kind of undoing everything you just did when you kicked my ass. I know. But I have to say for audience... Oh god, this is already hard to watch. Like that Bourne movie where they couldn't get Matt Damon. We're facing a biochemical attack of untold proportions. Unfortunately, Jason Bourne is not available. Who have we got? We have the sixth build guy from the Avengers. The arrow guy who frowns a lot. Uh, okay. Does he look like Bourne? Yeah, yeah. He sort of looks like a young Popeye. Well, sounds like he's the right guy for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, you're the most generous man since Ted Turner. Uh, uh, I'd like to announce I'm giving a gift the whole world can appreciate. I've colorized the moon. All right, now we're going to use a fan brush here. And uh, I want you to take some hunter green. And we're going to put a happy little bush right down over here in the corner there. And that'll just be our little secret. And if you tell anyone 
that that bush is there. I will come to your house and I will cut you. I'm just going to take a little bit of his DNA and soon we'll be proud parents, like Ron Livingston's parents. You know, our son's a famous actor. Really? What's his name? <sighs> um, he's, uh... He was like the main guy in Office Space. Yeah, what else? Uh, he has dark hair. I don't know, was he in Black Hawk Down? Oh, he was in, like, at least five Sex in the Cities. Ugh, what is his name? What is his name? Is your son Ron Livingston? Yes! Oh, God! Thank God! Ron Livingston, thank you! That has been bugging me all day! Cleve grew up and went on to marry Rebecca Romaine. Actually, I'm not even joking about that. The fat kid from Stand By Me is now married to Rebecca Romaine. Can you believe that? I swear to God, look it up on the internet. Doesn't that piss you off? Quag grew up to become a famous Hollywood actor. Unfortunately, about a week ago, he took an overdose of designer drugs at the Viper Room. He died on the curb outside. And now we're left with a hair-lipped reminder of what might have been. Hi, welcome back from commercials. Joaquin Phoenix, if you're still watching, you are a good sport and a trooper. Hey, bud, take a break. I'll take over. Go smoke a fatty. Thanks. This is Sierra Tango 817, Matthew McConaughey's private jet, requesting permission to land. Matthew McConaughey? Oh, sorry, Sierra Tango 817. All our runways are filled. But it looks empty from up here. We're almost out of fuel. No, no, no room at all. But lucky for you, there's a big new airport out in the middle of the ocean. Keep going. You can't miss it. Roger that. Oops. Well, look at it this way. I just got you on next year's Oscar telecast. You'll be right after Ron Howard! <laughs> Just messing with you, Ron. Or maybe not! No, seriously, I am. Or am I? No. What the hell's up with these rolling blackouts? Well, since Lois is the mayor, I'm allowed to reroute all the town's electricity. What'd you do that for? So I could reanimate the corpse of Jim Verney. Howdy, Vern. This is some dad gum nice house you got here, Vern. That's Vern, 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 Vern. Vern. Oh, wait, wait, it was John Belushi. That's who I wanted. Peter, how could you... Way ahead of you, Brian. My mistake. I'll take care of this. Hey, Jim, come out in the yard, will you? Sure thing, Vern. He got the shotgun, Brian. Don't ask me how he did it, but Jim Varney got the shotgun. Run for your life! What? Run! Can I talk to someone else? Literally anyone? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I was fired by Aflac for no reason. Well, there there was some reason. I'm staying, and I'm running the company with Big Bird, since he's at HBO now. Uh, I'm actually Gwendolyn Christie. I played Brienne on Game of Thrones. I fear I may be a bit late. You get the company! When the Dwayne Johnson Center for Confusion Ethnicity approached me about hosting this night, I said it'd be an honor to bestow upon Stuart Gilligan Griffin our Lifetime Achievement Award. I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking we lived in a safe neighborhood, but apparently I was wrong. Wait, you're saying you were... Oh, I get it. The Fonz can't say wrong. No, Peter, he's 70. He's having a stroke. Uh, uh, uh. Trust me, it makes it that much more special when we finally get inside and see Renee Zellweger doing her whole scrunch face routine. Coming this March, Jude Law and Renee Zellweger in The Picnic. Oh no, these ants are ruining our picnic. You mean this picnic is ruining our ants. Oh, don't try to deny it, pretty baby. You've been down so long, you can hardly see. Ooh, how deliciously evil-looking. It's like something out of Stephen King. Okay, for my 307th book, uh, this couple is attacked by a... a... a lamp monster! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're not even trying anymore, are you? When can I have it? It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Peter, you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go do some skywriting. <laughs> Look, there's only one way to settle this. Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. Now, Miss O'Keefe, the flowers in your paintings, what do they represent? 
Oh, wow, that's a really good question. They found a body of a war hero down by the old asylum. Okay, that has to be something. Uh, sorry, Peter. I'm just singing along with this old John Mellencamp song. They went up there to a movie. Peter Quagmire, Cleveland and Joe. Killed the old janitor. Wow, hero. Just why? We'll never know. I don't remember this one. This has never been in a car commercial. In a truck that spilled Dodge Tough. Oh, yeah, no, I know this one. I wanted to do it on my own. Will you relax? Plenty of people cheat. Once again, Ashley Simpson. <laughs> We now return to Alice and Janney in Hello Sexy. and Janney being very, very tall. Uh, she has an Oscar, and we have a great deal of respect for her. Help! Somebody! These drunk redneck truckers are trying to have their way with me! Not while my scrotum is pressed up against my stomach in these jeans, they won't. <laughs> Roadhouse. Oh boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <laughs> That's it, I'm going to numb. I must look like a bigger loser than when I was on that game show. And now back to America's favorite game show, Bobcat or Bjork. Okay, Peter, listen closely and tell us if this is a song by Icelandic vocalist Bjork or the rantings of former comedian Bobcat Goldthwait. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Bill, that's got to be Bobcat. Oh, sorry. That was Bjork. <laughs> Chris, are you all right? Please say something. I don't think Jordan Peele has the talent we've attributed to him. Because of the lake water, uh, I said some things that I did not mean. Jordan Peele is our greatest living filmmaker and visionary, both in comedy and in drama. There is nothing he can't do. Good. Now let's make some twin porn. Hit me again and you got a deal. You sure about this, Peter? You bet. As sure as I was when I created Lady Gaga. All right, listen, fella. Your game is confusion. Zip, zam, zoop. Nobody gets a straight look at nothing. Whoa, is that Harrison Ford? Yeah, it said in the brochure that he assists with all the jumps. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. Oh, look, he even brought Callista Flockhart with him. Now, uh, Peter, I think that's just a piece of paper. Good, because she looked fat. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, people do a lot of crazy things just to be accepted. Uh, I, I don't know about this. Hey, we all did it. If you want to be a Supreme Court justice, you got to pick up that cherry with your butt cheeks and drop it in that beer. Come on! Come on, do it! Come on, do it! Go shoot it! Go shoot it! Go shoot it! All right, deal. Awesome. I feel like I've finally found my calling, like Steve Martin. I've got it. I'll do five years of entertainment, then 40 years of banjo. Hello. 
No, I don't want $10 million for a movie. Call back when you've got 14 banjo fans in your city's worst theater. Honey, could you shut the door? Honey, shut the door! Oh, God, I've ruined Christmas. Like the little drummer boy when he got really into Neil Pert. Our finest gifts we bring for up a pom pom. <gasps> Christmas is going to be sick. Well, we can, but I'm not sure you'll like it. That's what I look like? Who is letting me out of the house like someone in the future is seriously failing me? Yeah, you look like a Candyland villain that came to life. I know! You look like a Muppet that teaches kids about being gay. All right, that's enough. Why are we making fun of me? I'm not a bad guy. Let's just make fun of Sean Hannity again. He looks like a guy who just OD'd on Just for Men. He looks like Alan Ficker. He's a guy whose wife yells at him for getting his ball powder all over the bathroom. All right, we could do this all day. For more Hannity Slams, go to Family Guy's YouTube page. And hey, if you think of your own, leave it in the comments. He's the guy your mom dates twice and then yells at you for the remote. <laughs> okay, but now we're done. My bike! Where's my bike? Do you mind reading this for me? Paging Mr. Herman, Mr. Pee Wee Herman. I found my bike! <laughs> Wake up, sir. Turns out I never did get pulled up into that movie screen. I had just Pee Wee Hermaned myself in the theater and fell asleep. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, I'll have what she's having? All right. What's more important is we're living a sweet life, huh? This is even more fun than when I performed at the White House. Mr. President, I present to you Peter Griffin. Are we doing this thing or what? Brian? Brian? Well, this was a lot of effort for nothing. Like trying to tell Matthew McConaughey how much he sucks. You know, Matthew, I, I may not ever get another chance to say this, so I just want to get this off my chest. You are just awful. You're one of the worst actors in the history of film, <laughs> and I think that you need to go away. Oh, thanks, man. The truth is, I spend at least 90% of my year going away, exploring exotic places, having sex with my beautiful girlfriend, just doing sit-ups. I mean, that really... And then counting money. Money that I made off the terrible films that I put out into the American populace because they just love to see me doing what it is that I do. Yes, but you're not hearing me. Dazed and Confused was the one thing that was passable. After that... Oh, thanks, man. That actually launched my career. After that, everything else was awful. Contact, they, they, they didn't even need you in that movie. They could have done the whole movie without you. I know. I said the same thing, but they were just like, oh, we need a good-looking guy with a great ass and some tight abs to just provide some down-home enthusiasm in this picture. Something to counterbalance Jodie Foster. They took her to be uh, slightly cold. Uh, unapproachable, do you know? So they put me in there. I said it didn't make any sense. Said the, th said the same thing about that uh, Bill Murray elephant movie, but they were just like, all the audiences need you. <laughs> you make me physically sick to my stomach, and I wish that you would get a heart attack. I totally feel you, man. Truth of the matter is, I, I don't like my movies either, but, uh, man, they just keep offering me money, and I do it, and then I get to go around the world. I mean, do you see Sahara? <laughs> but I'll tell you what that movie gave me was an opportunity to take an Airstream all across the country and sell that picture one person at a time. You suck donkey ass. Now, you can't prove that. I thought I was actually connecting with people. Could there be anyone stupider than me? Madonna? Oh, yeah, she's pretty stupid. That, well, that's something we can all agree on, right? Right? Absolutely, yeah, Francis. Oh, major idiot. Major idiot. Yeah, yeah. Well, gosh, you know, I guess we do have some common ground here after all, huh? Yeah, and, and La Isla Bonita, not a real place. I, I looked it up, couldn't find it. Bought a globe, couldn't find it. Oh, well, yeah, that makes her a liar, too. She's awful. Awful, awful woman. I man. agree, yeah. And she's a whore. Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, everybody. Yeah, Canseco, ew. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman, right, right, yeah. Rodman? My God. I think he lost all his money, didn't he? Rodman loss? You're, not, you're sure you're not thinking of MC Hammer? No, no. I th well, him too. I, I, I read somewhere. I think it was in like, like stuff. Or is it? No, 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 no. You know what it was? It was on, it was on Real Sports with Bryant Gumble, and they said uh, that he's in the poorhouse now. 
Yeah. You think she'd do them now? I, I, well, we would, would, been, would Madonna do Rodman now? Oh, yeah. No, because it's not about the money. It's about pissing off daddy. That's right. She's got a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Yeah, we are smarter. We, we, we are smarter than, than Madonna. Oh, no question. Well, I should probably get out of these robes. Ha! I knew it! I scared her off! Uh, you might want to check under your pillow. <gasps> How did she get in? She must have been quieter than Britney Spears' dietitian. Be easy on those trans fats. Not, not everything needs gravy. You know, there's some carrots down at the other end. That, that cheesecake was for everyone. Well, I tried. I even hired M. Night Shyamalan to direct my TV commercial. I have a secret to tell you. What is it? Come closer. I see good food at competitive prices. At Big Pete's House of Munch. Stop on by. Unfortunately, they couldn't air it, because it turns out M. Night Shyamalan was involved with September 11th. I want to see if there's a response to all those fan letters I've been writing. Dear Carrie Elways, I have been meaning to contact you for some time. I have never been able to figure out if you are famous. You were a big deal in one thing, but you were wearing a mask for most of it. Do you consider your career a disappointment? Or rather, did you exceed your own expectations? Yours truly, Peter Griffin. P.S. You were in Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Did you know that? Well, I have to admit, you two do make a cute couple. But then again, so did Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow. Do you take this woman to lecture you about trans fats for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you take this man to be a watered-down Bono until death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you pretentious and terrible. You may name your daughter after a fruit. Oh, no way. Hey, Chris, look. Is that Richard Dreyfus? Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, Dreyfus, where are you going? Get back here. Dreyfus, what are you doing here in Quahog? My nephew's in the play. God, can't you go anywhere these days without these damn paparazzi? <sighs> where are you going? Oh, are you going to the bathroom? You're going to have a close encounter of the turd kind? <laughs> hey, I think you're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> these jokes are for you, Peter, when you watch this tape in the future. We now return to another Michael Jordan underwear commercial on a plane for some reason. Does your underwear have tags? Uh, what? Uh, Mr. Jordan, you're going to have to take your seat and stop asking people about their underwear. Except when I was Christina Aguilera's manager. Okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible. All right, you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. I haven't made a crank call in years. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, quiet, quiet, it's ringing. Hello? Hello? Is this Linda Tripp? Yes. You shouldn't have talked, you stupid bitch. I hope you die. Boy, that, uh, that, that wasn't really a crank call. That was, that was just unpleasant. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. We now return to How David Lynch Stole Christmas. Hello, I got you a present. It's a thumb. Huh? Don't look away. Let the fear wash over you. I don't understand. That's the whole point. Now, did you leave a plate of black coffee out for me? No. In the future, please leave a plate of black coffee out for me. Also in the past. The Hangover Part 3. Available for instant download. I never saw it. Is it good? Searching reviews. Top critic on Rotten Tomatoes says, I walked out of the theater and I'm Ed Helms. Okay, no download, but thanks. This is Pitbull's house. He knows everything about South Florida. He can help us find Mort. Doorbell, 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 ring. <laughs> it's my house. It's mi casa. Wow, imagine kind of knowing two languages. Really? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, this is nothing. I've been in uncomfortable situations before, like whenever I meet famous people. Hey, what's up? I'm Snoop Dogg. Know what I'm saying? I do! But you don't, Peter. You don't. Man, this is a pretty sweet gig. Like being a member of Daft Punk. Look at this old Casio keyboard from the 1980s that I have found. Watch what happens when I push this demo button.
Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. Oh, -ho! you know, it's funny. Until you spoke, I did not know we were French. Who would you rather start a small business with? Janet Reno after a safari or the fat guy from My Name is Earl? That still sounds like a sex question. It is not. Well, then what the hell does safari have to do with it? What's the guy from Earl's credit rating? 651. That's not bad. Better than mine. Does he have an idea, or do I have to come up with it myself? He's got an idea, but it's not quite there. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. Oh, yeah? I've taken down tougher people than you, like the time I took down Delta Burke. <laughs> Well, I am not going to lift a finger. After all, I'm a sugar baker. <laughs> this Tuesday on Lifetime, Valerie Bertinelli stars in a Lifetime original movie. You know, doctor, you said you were going to cure my cancer, but all you did was rape me. I'm starting to think I don't have cancer at all. Well, you're right about the rape part, but I'm sorry, you still do have cancer. <laughs> Valerie Bertinelli in Men Are Terrible and Will Hurt You Because This Is Lifetime. Steven Seagal. Uh, uh it, this, this fat guy? Yep. Go on, ask him anything. I, how did, uh, why, why are you so fat? Okay, ask him about anything but his weight. Uh, uh, you act Asian, you look Native American, your name is possibly Jewish. What are you? Hey, fat. We're looking for a friend who's hiding out down here. He's a Jewish pharmacist from Rhode Island. Coral Palm Motel. Told you. And here's Pitbull with his newest hit. Tink da tonka te tong tong tink. Adios, goodbye, amigo friends. I gotta go get paid to scream, make some noise in Vegas. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over here, Lindsay! Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Give me cocaine! We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No, thanks. I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Hey, Chris Brown, I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your music. This is just going to make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice, would you mind pressing lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. Thank you. I'm having a good time, too. I hope I don't make any social faux pas like I did at Pamela and Tommy Lee's dinner party. Hi, sorry I'm late. I was visiting my aunt in the hospital. She has hepatitis. Ooh, sorry. Don't worry, Lois. Peter's good at getting out of trouble. Just like Kobe Bryant. We want the truth, Kobe. Did you rape her? Whoa. What were we talking about? That was my pleasure, too, Peter. Hey, I knew I'd get you. Just like Danny DeVito got Rhea Perlman. I don't know, Danny. Look, it's either me or nobody. Sold. That's a great idea, Peter. Sweet. And I promise you'll be able to understand all the words. Not like Sting, where you can only understand the last three. Well, isn't that a surprise? Like the Japanese attack on David Harbour. Hi, Kenji Mifune, Tokyo Daily. Why do you always look like you just woke up in a dumpster? What do you want your alias to be? What are you talking about? I'm not gonna go- Get your name for yourself! Willem Dafoe. No, not that one. I used to have a Willem Dafoe living under my bed. Hey, you asleep yet? Uh, no. Just checking. What, like you think you have a shot with her? Are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Combs. My problem with liberals, Alan, is that liberals hate America. Sean, I don't know if that's true. You just contradicted me. You hate America. If I could just get a word in. You hate America. You like the terrorists. Well, I guess you're right again. Albert Einstein worked for the patent office. And what is it you want to patent, Herr Smith? I call it Smith's Theory of Relativity. Hey, look at this. What? Hi, Peter. I'm really looking forward to the movie tonight. Peter and I are going to see Zapped. 
I figured Scott Baio was androgynous enough that we could both fantasize about him and no one would be gay. We did it. Wow, look at us. You know, we make a great team, guys. Like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. Sorry, the bad's breaking up. You're being terrible parents. Even worse than John Edwards. Kids, we need to talk. Your mama has cancer, and it's made me incredibly horny. Take care. Now, you'll be watching Stewie, and I don't want you just to prop him up next to the TV all day. Take him to the park. I want him to get some fresh air. Fresh air is bad for a kid, Lois. Look at Michael J. Fox. What? I don't know. This is the Seth Rogen gene. It will give you the appearance of being funny, even though you haven't actually done anything funny. Hey, Doc, are we going to be much longer? i got to get some beers with the fellows before I go out on this date. <laughs> How charming and chubby. I'm rooting for you. You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting. Well, I'm sorry, but Kim Kardashian did get famous for making a sex tape. We all know that. That's not yours. Whoa, it's like I'm high-fiving with Anthony Edwards. And it's not like I'd be lying. There we go. Hey, another round for me and my veteran buddies. Dad, Family Guy used two of your songs. Well, that's great, but I'm not your dad. I'm Kenny Loggins, and you're a groupie I brought here for sex. Dad, Family Guy just... See, now, that's my daughter. Hey, Lois, look over there. It's Jessica Chastain. Oh, Daddy, that's Bryce Dallas Howard. You're blind as a bat. <laughs> Hey, if there's one thing I'm good at doing, is cheering people up. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, John Benet's untimely death is a tragedy. And I will not rest until I find her killer. Or killers. Oh, really? Don't, don't bother. Nothing's going to bring our baby back. No, 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 I insist. I will make it my life's work to find We're out... We're fine, just drop it. <sighs> what was I thinking? Joe's the one with all the talent. Me trying to write a book is like CeeLo trying to find a pair of pants. Yeah, I need to find something a cartoon Apple would wear. Calm down. Lots of crazy people have gone on to lead normal, successful lives. Check it out, Stewie. Halle Berry's Wild Ride. Well, look, we'd be happy to help in any way we can. Hey, is Ron Howard's weird-looking brother one of these lab technicians? Of course he is. It's an 80s movie. Hey, there's something on the screen. I'm thinking of quitting. What? Lois, you can't quit. What if Kurt Cobain had quit? Thank you. And remember, say no to drugs. Great concert, Kurt. The label's excited about your seventh album. Thanks. Oh, you remember my wife, Courtney Love? Who? If you qualify as a genius, the Foundation will give you a $500,000 grant just to sit around and do whatever you want. Wow. Imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now juggle these beanbags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle the beanbags! I just hope it goes okay. We've had some bad luck with dinner guests. You remember when Margot Kidder was here? Oh, we loved you in the Superman movies. You were just wonderful. Open up, Stewie. The airplane's coming in for a landing. Yeah, I guess the pilot must have been JFK Jr. Ooh, even I found that to be in bad taste. Without sex ed, kids can wind up sexually confused. Just look at Michael Jackson. The kid in me likes the frosted side, but the grown-up in me likes the kid in me. All right, Meg. You be David Koresh, and I'll be a heavy-handed FBI agent. Go! Hey, you! You're a crazy person! Come out of there, you! Oh my god, that's Michael Eisner. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it from here, Julio. Oh, here you go, Mr. Eisner. It's, uh, it's been Brianized. You might notice that new script smell. <laughs> Every car I hand wash comes with a smile, an air freshener, and a copy of my can't-miss coming-of-age teen comedy set in Wisconsin. What's your name? Brian. Let's see... There we go. Brian. <laughs> See you at Disneyland. Bring money. Publicity is what keeps this franchise running, Brian. We're even using state-of-the-art computer animation to create a fake sex tape with me and Bill Cosby. Now you will get ready for the zim-zam and the babbity bibbity and you will take off your clothes like voo and voom. 
come and get ready for the most splendiferous pudding pop you have ever seen. Oh, this'll never get Meg on the paper. This is old news. There have been scandals in politics ever since Thomas Jefferson. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Honey, let's get all the kids in this. Oh, wow, this is awesome. You know Jeff Garland has one of these in his house. Ah, I love this chair. Dog in a Jets jersey, get in here. God, I have the best basement. You should take my advice. I mean, I'm the guy who told Michael Chiklis to wear tight shirts. I'll tell you anything you want. Just get your boobs out of my face. You know the difference between you and me, dirtbag? No matter how muscular I get, I will never be muscular. You can't quit. What if Muhammad Ali had quit? Ah, my grandchildren. Who would like me to read them a book or maybe paint their name on a grain of rice? Honey, dinner time. Ah, my favorite, hot soup. Right in there. Then if you want a photo, you have to buy me candy. I'm not buying you candy. Go to hell. There's plenty of other CEOs who will. And Andrew Cuomo. Who wants to see my nipple rings? Now bring that face over here for an unwanted smooch. Hey, uh, Mr. Weed, I got a great idea for a new line of TV action figures. Facts of Life Transformers, eh? And wa watch the transformation. Cute as a button. Fat as a cow. Radioactive scorpion, eh? Watch out, Mrs. Garrett. Here comes Blair. We now return to CBS This Morning with Charlie Rose sadly pressed against the window. Coming up this morning, Christmas came early for a group of first graders in South Bend, Indiana. You guys still cross with me? Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley. Huh? What? Elvis Presley is white? Cleveland, did you know about this? Come on, Donna, let's pick up some gizzards and fried skins and head on down to the juke joint. Tonight, it's gonna be jumping. Your mother's right, son. Listen to what it says. Peter. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't say that. Lee Majors did. What? Women are things. Do like me, say wee wee, and tell them you're a friend of Bill Mars. That's how you'll get to watch them pee in Canadian nudie bars. Oh, damn, I drove all the way out here. I had to cancel another appointment. I never like to be too far away from Mike Wallace. That must be where they do the deed. I hope it's at least peaceful and humane. Vic! Oh, boy. And Eli Manning! Oh, I didn't know that about Eli Manning. Oh, yeah. I'm a real idiot psychopath. Funny how this worked out. Who would have thought, huh? I guess things not always what they seem. Yeah. I mean, except for Ronan Farrow, who is clearly Woody Allen's son and absolutely not Frank Sinatra's. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you could make it home for the family dinner, Ronan. You got it, Four Eyes. Wouldn't miss a dinner with my cuckoo dad for the world. Hey, Anime Wong, no ticky, no shirty. I'm just kidding around, Rice Bowl. Jeez, lighten up. This room is tighter than Ava Gardner's caboose. Us, right? It's like looking in a mirror. Is that car bed a Bentley? And is that guy the driver? Ready for this evening's trip to Snooze Town, sir? Not yet. Sad story. He used to drive the bed for Michael Jackson's monkey. I've seen some terrible things. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. I dated Ross 20 years ago. That's right. And that means he had you first, Lois. I'll always be Scotty Pippen to his Michael Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan! <laughs> And Scotty Pippen. He's also good. Why didn't they do Jordan last? Alphabetical? Oh, right. That's smart. You're smart, but still. Ah! Cat butt! What do I do? Where do I look? What do I do? Oh, thank God. I almost looked right at it. Oh, I looked right at it! Oh, it looks like a worn out dartboard bullseye. How was Michael Jackson so into this? Let's face it, this is the most fun we've had since Mom got hooked on coffee and bought that Al Pacino maker. <laughs> Good job, Chris. You've really impressed your old dad. Like Richard Gere's gerbil impressed his dad. Hello? Dad, you're never gonna believe where I am. You're going to fail faster than John Madden's wedding video business. 
boom, here's your groom over here. Boom, you got your bride right here. And a lot of people say that Stacy's no good and that she slept with this guy and done that guy and even this guy. But I'll tell you something, that experience is going to work in her favor late in the game. You know what a heck of a wedding? Brett Favre. Boy, I can't believe there'd be corrupt cops in Mexico. Yeah, Donald Trump was right. His daughter is a hot piece of ass. When life is getting to you, put some fresh in your life. Let mentals freshen up your life. Life is just a breeze when you stay fresh and cool. Cause mentals puts the fresh in life. Chase that freshness, just can't beat it. Mentos, the fresh maker. Come on, we'll do it ourselves. Stewie Griffin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And Space Ghost. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my God, this is almost as bad as my bath with Kathy Bates. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out. I promise you'll love it here, even more than Julia Roberts loves herself. Hi, I'm Julia Roberts. You know, a lot of people died in the tsunami, but don't worry. I didn't, and I'll be here to entertain you and love my life for many, many years to come. Me. 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 <laughs> Joe, you got this all wrong, like God did when he made Rosie O'Donnell. You can't put a vagina on this man. Why not? I'm God. Well, what do you want to do about the breasts? Uh, take a couple out of the bin we can't find matches for. Finally! Up next, Kirk Cameron. Ooh! To talk about God. Ow. I'm not special? Everyone's special, Peter. Rock drummer Tommy Lee! And if your wife ever tells you that you're not special, punch her really hard right in her hepatitis. Thanks, rock drummer Tommy Lee! Hey, you know what else is cool? Having sex with sunglasses on. I've got a lot of things to try now! Quagmire? I thought you were still out on the road. I was, but then I thought, what was Simon without Garfunkel? Wildly successful? I don't understand. I'm not a racist. It's well documented that my dream three-way is S. Apatha Murkison and CCH Pounder. S, this is CCH. CCH, this is S. It is my intention that we conduct this with both sexiness and dignity. Man, I can't get over how old-timey everything in this car is. I know. Check out what's on the radio. President Kennedy has been shocked. The Martians are now traveling to New Jersey. Beatles song, Beatles song, la 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 la. Ah, that last one brings back a lot of memories. Even Helen Keller had her tailor. One hundred dollars, please, blind and deaf lady. Peter, quick, write something mean. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all those. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Meg, I'm not doing this. You have to, Chris. Siblings have to look out for each other, like the Mannings. Eli, you threw for three touchdowns today, which isn't bad, except Peyton had four. Well, Cooper got pre-approved for a Visa card today. Come on, guys. We all had a good day. Yes, tremendous ratings. Our Leslie Nielsen ratings are the highest in history. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Leslie. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <sighs> That's it, I'm going to numb. The talking bear was so bad, Seth MacFarlane quit voicing him after season two. It's hard to make a talking bear funny. <laughs> it, it worked out okay in movie form. Next case on the docket, The People versus Ted 2. Okay, come on, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go. And you, you're done. Clean out your locker. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. She's right. You want something in this world? You gotta fight for it. Like Mr. Sulu fights his urges. Oh, I really shouldn't, but everything looks so yummy. I don't want the fellows to start calling me Fatty Sulu or something like that. <laughs> we now return to Jeremy Piven as the Incredible Hulk. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. 
Oh, I guess you learn something new every day. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Thank God I'm not going to die. What do you mean? Of course you are. I'm not going to die, Brian. I'm like Jim Belushi. I am worried about my funny brother, though. Food fight! <laughs> this is tragic, but will also open a door for me. Jeez, Brian, that's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. Oh, you're a worse parent than Britney Spears. I know, I know. Oh, the gift basket was not worth the trip. Not by a long shot. Oh, I gotta get that. I'll talk to you later. Lois? Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? It's gonna be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! This is great, Dad. I know, I'm having even more fun than when I... I mean, than when we went Fiona apple picking. Dad, they're all bruised and filthy. Yeah, these might be throwing at Bus's apples, not eating apples. Wow! It looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me! Hey, some of our greatest actors started in news, like Sean Penn. Today's weather calls for, uh, breezy skies and sun, and there's gonna be a... Get that f***ing camera out of my face! Oh! Oh! We, we gotta get you to the hospital! Ah! Uh, uh, you're hideous! Who did this to you? Oh, oh, where are my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. You should probably take care of that. Oh, you? that's the coolest George Clooney there is. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. <laughs>